<laughs> one of my friends from the reporting world said many years ago, the best people in the world are women, followed by the men, followed by the rest of the women. Now that's obviously a stereotype, which is very binary, but I do think that women, we, we can play a really tough emotional game. Women, because we don't have some of the same levers to power as many men in some cases, I think there's a lot of emotional manipulation that women use against each other in the workplace when things go bad. In my career, for example, I've had both racial and gender harassment and discrimination, but the thing that I found the most damaging in many ways was back to this idea of perceived competence and what I call intellectual belittlement. Working in places where people just didn't see how, like I had a, a situation where I was covering an election cycle and I ended up being, I ended up doing the best reporting, but I had to fight my editors to do it because I was not perceived to have the same level of competence as my colleagues, even though I've been in the industry for years. And so there's there's that level of um, sort of the, the the competency questions and how women get credentialed. You know, how do you become credentialed as a leader? You know, there are many female leaders who never get the chance to truly lead at the level they need to lead because they're not viewed as competent.